Hey readers, writers, and storytellers. My name is Hannah. I publish as H.S. Paisley and today I want to talk to you guys about the book Five Little Indians by Michelle Good. Five Little Indians was published April 14th, 2020, and I read it in June of 2021. Michelle Good is a Cree author from Saskatchewan, and Five Little Indians follows the story of five residential school survivors in Vancouver in the 1960s. And it was a heavy read. As some of you may know, if you are a Canadian, and I'm not sure how much press this got outside of Canada, but on May 27th in Kamloops, BC, near the site of a residential school, 215 unmarked graves were found. About a month later, on June 24th, 751 bodies were found in unmarked graves outside of a site that used to be a residential school in Saskatchewan. A week later in BC, another 182 unmarked graves were found. This is not news to us. Residential school survivors have told us about their murdered classmates since forever. For me, this book and the events that have been in our news were not surprising. They were horrifying, but I was not surprised. And I, I kind of think if you were surprised as a Canadian, you haven't been paying attention. And like that's I think there's some individual fault there, but also our education system is very, very broken. And that's one of the reasons why in my Goodreads review, I said that this book or one just like it should be mandatory reading in high schools for Canadians. I gave this book five stars. I don't know if I've ever given a book five stars because I'm kind of a bitch when it comes to reviews, which is a weird thing to do as an author because I hope all of you have given my book five stars. <laughs> but Five Little Indians got five stars from me because it did such a good job of making the story of these survivors and the intergenerational trauma accessible to me a biracial girl who grew up in a middle upper middle class neighborhood in Toronto in the 90s early 2000s the story of the 60s and these people were was so real to me as I read this book and that's part of what made the book so hard to read and kind of put a slump in all of my reading in June because it hurt to read but I also recognized that it was very very important. If you do start reading this book and you want to put it down it does get more optimistic. The first half I think is definitely the heaviest and the hardest where we see a bit more of of the kids at school although we get that throughout the entire book but when they leave and go to Vancouver and try and find their way and cross paths with other indigenous kids it, it's really tough and one of the elements that I thought was so interesting that was put in and Michelle Good did this in in such a a gentle way I guess like it was harsh, it was hard to read, but I didn't feel any kind of defensiveness like through the whole book. But there was this specific section where this one character leaves a residential school, goes to Vancouver, meets up with a girl who had left the previous year. And that girl is dating this guy whose parents fled to the US so he never went to residential school and as the girls through the several weeks that we follow their story are complaining about the sister and the treatment at, at the residential school this guy says to them oh come on you're so hard on this nun it couldn't have been that bad and like it was such a simple thing but phew, that hit me so hard to have your your experience denied by an ally, by someone who looks like you. And and so the girl who he's dating is like, bro, why do you think your parents ran away? You know, because we were having such a great time. But just like the idea that your experience can be denied by other people who have had or could have had the same experience was really powerful. And other ways I felt this book was very powerful is it made accessible the idea and and, and not, not necessarily the idea, but the experience that somebody stealing a child from a family ruins three plus generations by that one act. And we follow one character as he tries to go home, but his mother is an alcoholic now and she can't get her life together. Probably because she fell into a depression because her child was stolen from her. So the kid doesn't feel comfortable at home, so he goes 
off and tries to work, but residential school didn't prepare him for the world. So what kind of work does he find, you know? Nothing high paying. He's not going to to school and one character who does, it's very challenging for her. And it just this book encompasses so much. You know, it shows like the parents of these kids who were stolen, the life of these kids, some of whom get to reconnect with their heritage, some of whom don't, and their children and how this one act has affected these three generations. And it was just, it was so powerful. I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. If you have never read a book like this, I highly suggest this book. I know there are others, and, and let me know in the comment section if you have read other books by Indigenous authors about residential schools or other experiences. I am definitely looking to learn. I think that I am, I try to be educated on this topic, but it is not a shared experience and I don't understand the ripple effect, but this book helped me see a little bit more. And I think even if you're not Canadian, this book or books like it can be advantageous for you to help understand your own country and the world around you because most of us live somewhere where there is or was an indigenous population of varying sizes now and then and understand the cost of the life we have now I think will better allow us to build a better world for each other for ourselves and for the future because I think I don't know but I think that that's what reconciliation is about right listening and learning and growing and not having this happen again to anybody so yeah, that's, that was a, a heavy, a heavy read for sure. Five Little Indians by Michelle Good. I give it five stars. I highly recommend you read it. If you have, please let me know. Like I said, if you've read other books like it, pop that in the comment section. I hope you're all happy and healthy, taking care of each other and yourselves and go get some water because you're probably dehydrated.